Honestly, in the beginning, I was a little skeptical about this whole catch and release rhino hunting idea. Number one, I couldn't quite figure out how you were supposed to catch a 6,000 pound rhino. And number two, it didn't quite sit right with me using a dart instead of bullets or broadheads. For me, hunting is a spiritual thing. It's based on tradition. And I didn't know how it would feel to mix science with hunting. I didn't know if it would really be a hunt. But if I was going to try it, I was darn well going to try it on my terms. I didn't want to use a high-tech dart gun like a scientist might use. I wanted to use a bow and arrow like a hunter would use. <laughs> this is something you won't see or you haven't seen in probably about 20 years. Me carrying a bow that I'm going to use for hunting. What do you think, Peter? Yeah, I think we'll give it a go and see see what you can do. They've got these fancy new things called releases now. That's totally different from my day. How far is that talking about? 80 yards? 85 yards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch the wind down. You gotta come in here. And this is, you got a 100 pound pull. This is for... What happened? Just below, that's not bad. That's 20 yards? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Looks we were at 18 earlier. <laughs> Oh, I pulled that one left, I knew I did. This is going to be fun. And Jim, that shot sucked, unfortunately. <laughs> You're way off. <laughs> Suck! I expect better from you, Jim. Perfect. That's that? better. I don't know how the bull hunters actually do it. <laughs> this thing's only set at like 35 pounds on my arm. It's shaking, the sights are going everywhere. Perfect. My outfit said perfect. Little does he know that that's not a three-ton animal standing out there with a great big long spike on the end of his nose. That's where perfect ends and my actual bow hunting career starts. Huh. Huh. <laughs> how, how big is a rhino? How big is a rhino? But you know what you did wrong there? <laughs> yeah. no, no, I was aiming there. Are oh, you were? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to mess up my outfitter's confidence. <laughs> Look, the other thing that's nice is, you know, it's such a big target. If it moves you that much, you're still hitting a, a, a reasonably good area. It's a big target, but it's not big enough for me. Just ask him, but if he charges, you're going to shoot him? No. Uh, okay. If he charges, what are we going to do? Absolutely dead still. Look, the white rhino aren't as aggressive as the black rhino. They usually will charge when they provoke, you know, in the unlikely event. If dead still wait for the last moment, you can intimidate them. They're a bit like elephants, you know. You get up and shark wave your arms and they sort of veer off. But what, what elephants have you ever done that to? Because all the ones I've done that to have instantly charged me. <laughs> it's all those words like supposed to and if. Those aren't like definitive words, right? You know, like any animals, Jim, it's hard to say what they're going to do and at what stage they're going to do. Usually we have some sort of cover around us, you know, we get in behind a bush or a tree and they will usually just run off past you. The number one, the getting out of the way? Yeah. Like, you know, no, you're young me, and quick, you, I'm... You'll get out of the way. <laughs> uh, uh, trust me, I'll try. <laughs> Why are so spooky? But they are, I think, also, you know, that they ain't amongst the lions, um, Jim. You know, they... Lions? Mm. What lions? What do you mean? Oh, what part of what lions did you understand? There's lions here? Yeah, that's what I told you <laughs> I got a bull. Yeah, but I didn't mean, I didn't know they were right here. <laughs> <laughs> they were like here in the Eastern Cape. No, 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 no. They're lions in the area that we're going to be hunting. I've only got a bow and arrow that's 35 pound pole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. What's the drug? It's a drug called M99 etaphene hydrochloride. So if I get scratched by that? It will be your last scratch. <laughs> Yeah, no, look, it is a very dangerous drug and can be, you know, lethal. I'm going to be holding that thing? Yeah, but it'll, I'll be carrying it most of the time. You've got to be a, a doctor just to know what the heck you're doing, eh? 
Yeah. They get to be darted once a year. These once a year. You, you can do the measurement. It's all got to be for science. Absolutely, yeah. We keep records on all of them. You know, we'll get some blood drawn, send it away, blood tests. Okay. So it's all part of the conservation of the rhino. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, to get this sort of information, then, you know, you can keep track on the rhinos, you know, get data like that to see how they're doing. Um, assess the nutritional value of, of the area, make sure that they, everything's in balance, you know, they can detect what these animals may be short in. And so it's really, I mean, they're, they're tightly, tightly controlled, but that's, yeah. the, that's the reason there's still rhinos left, is because of exactly this. People tend to forget that, that hunting plays such a big part in conservation, yeah. you know, it's not only to go out there and kill the animal, you have to utilize everything properly and then make sure that everything's in check and stay, you know, you've got to keep the balance on everything and all kinds of wild. Life. The rhino population in South Africa has definitely boomed, especially with hunting being allowed, you know, because there's a demand for it. And obviously, with there being a demand, people start looking after these animals. Yeah, sure, yeah. They have a bit, they're paying their own way at that point. Exactly. So I just want to make sure I got this right. I'm going to sneak up on a perfectly fine, far away rhino. Not far away. It's far away right now, so to me, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. And when he comes at you, remember to climb the closest yeah. tree. Yeah, okay. This is the closest tree that he wants me to climb if the rhino's charging. Peter, have you looked at these trees? But what does help a lot is, you know, and there's not much of a breeze out today, but just to kill our center. Pretty serious. The first um, patch of rhino manure, rhino dung we find, we'll just rub some on us just to. You know, you probably would have got away with that, except for the smile. Yeah. I'd have been, <laughs> you'd have got me on camera smiling, wiping rhino crap all over me. I'm smiling because it sounds funny, but it really works. Works like a charm. I don't think we all need to rub ourselves in it though. Probably just the guide. Usually the, the, the cameraman and the hunter, that works best. Okay, you ready, Jim? Yeah. A little advice, I think we should be 20 yards. <laughs> okay. I'm confident out till like, 16. Lion track. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing to think how these, you know, animals the size of a rhino can disappear. You know, that's 6,000 pounds in this thick stuff. And even not the heaviest of cover, you know, Jim, sometimes they're just under a, a little bush and in the shade and they blend in so well. 6,000 pounds, Six and thousand I, you got pounds. this set at 35 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> Seems a little bit light to me. That's, that's part of the fun though, you know, <laughs> you, knowing that he can come back at you and he's quite a bit heavier. We've spotted a monster rhino out on the flats. We're gonna, they're going to be heading down into the thick cover down here. So we're going to try and get ahead of them. Yesterday we hunted all day. We saw five rhinos, bulls at the beginning of the day, running at a thousand yards and never saw another one all day. One black rhino we saw in the bush. You ready, Jim? I'm ready, Chief. Let's go. It's going to come, but we'll just keep an eye on him and try and move in towards him. There's not much of a wind blowing or any breeze to assist us. But yeah, this is about the you know best chance we've had so far, so we'll see what we can make of it. Let me help you out with that. It's the only <laughs> chance we've had. <laughs> this isn't easy.
take him. Take him. Good job, Jim. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got him. Well done. How I thought he was going to come and step right over. But he kept saying, take him, take him. I don't know what pin. <laughs> I didn't know what pin. Oh, well, look at that distance. I mean, he was so close. That was about 15. You just hold any pin on him. You're going to him. Was that a good shot? Yeah, I know. Just right behind the shoulder. Um, that should that should do the job. Well done. Man, that was exciting. I thought... That is fun. I thought, Jim, you better take him before he steps on us. He's gone down up here. We're trying to get up there. you got to be quick. Measure him. Take blood samples. And I'm too old to be doing this. <laughs> Holy smokes. Beautiful bull, magnificent, oh. well done, Jim. Now let's just watch, he may not be out completely, okay? But he looks pretty good. God, he's huge. Yeah, no, that's a beautiful bull. Good job, Jim. So the shower's okay then? Yeah, no, well, it did the job, eh? He was coming right at us. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a perfect angle. <laughs> you think? It was a good situation. His, ho out his horn was touching me. <laughs> I swear. I could actually feel the, his, his breath. breathing on me. Yeah, no. That, oh. that was something. To get that close and, you know, to He is he's so, so enormous. Close. Big bass. Seven and five eights. This thing is, is, is giant. Okay, we're going to need you to clear the stuff and move towards the truck. Okay. Because you'll get up pretty quick. So he's administering the antidote now. And with a bow and arrow, first time in 20 years I've used a bow on an animal. That was fun. I just might take up bow hunting again. Couldn't have worked out any better. Well Here? done. Thank you. That was a cool hunt. I finished off the Big Five with a bow, alpine bow. That's a great hunt. It's a ton of fun over here in Africa. Lions roaring in the background with Peter Tam. Tam Safaris down in the Eastern Cape. Beautiful. Doesn't get any better than this. If you're thinking of taking your family on a safari to Africa, you might want to give the Tam family a call. They're one of the biggest and best safari operators in South Africa. They can arrange safaris for everything from lions and Cape buffalo down to the smallest of the plains game species. But if they have a specialty, it has to be rhino hunting. I originally met the Tams when I hunted white rhino with them back in 2008. I had my alpine bow and arrow tipped with a tranquilizer dart. It was my very first green hunt. Now the beauty of a green hunt is, you get all the thrill of a real hunt and you get to take your picture with the animal that you take, but that animal gets to live another day. And even better, the hunt is all part of a scientific research project put in place to help with the conservation of rare big game species like the rhino. Call me an adrenaline junkie, but I had so much fun on that first hunt for white rhino that as soon as I got home, I rebooked with the Thames to come back a year later. Only this time I wasn't going after white rhino. I was going after the far more dangerous black rhino. So dangerous in fact, that the famous PH from Africa, J.A. Hunter, rated the black rhino just behind leopard and lion as one of the top three most dangerous big game animals in Africa. More dangerous even than the Cape buffalo and the elephant. Just about everybody goes with you when they want to get a, a rhino. Yeah, the run, the run of darting is nice. one of our biggest yeah. uh, well, attractions. The, don't you have the most privately owned rhino? Privately owned, yeah, we've got one of the largest herds, um, white rhino and black rhino. So the, the black rhinos, are they, are they dangerous? They're a lot more aggressive than the white rhino. They probably weigh about 3,000 pounds. So they're big enough for me to hit with a bow then? Yeah, per, I, I uh, think so. And what other animals might we see? There's some lions out in that area. There are 10 to 15 different plains game species there. A lot of springback and wildebeest, blessback. Oh. Well, let me explain something about your hunter. Your, your hunter is very scared of lions oh, and rhino. And he should be. They're dangerous animals. If you're after them a while and you aggravate them, sooner or later they're going to charge. Yeah, gonna... Just like any other big game. That's why they're called big game, dangerous game. Look at that, that's a black rhino. 
Is it a big enough one? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's a nice, nice male rhino there, Jim. Pretty awesome, eh? That is really spectacular. That's a black rhino. Black rhino, yeah. <laughs> he looks like a tank. So what? We can't just go out there now, eh? You just don't dare. No. Because he'll... He wouldn't walk up to a black rhino like that, Jim. No, the black rhino is very aggressive, probably one of the most aggressive animals on the planet. They're guff, so they, they weigh like a ton and a half. Yeah, about 3,000 pounds. How much does a white rhino weigh? About 5,000 pounds. Oh, so they're yeah. significantly bigger. Yeah, quite a bit bigger. So these are quicker, meaner, Yeah. more aggressive. But still big animals. Still big animals. I don't see a lot of trees around here climbing. Nice. It's the same thing your brother told me with the white rhino. Yeah, yeah. For the tree. To run, yeah, head for the tree and start climbing. It's like, you know, I'm gonna show you exactly what this. The trees around here, are like, ah, he's charging me. He's charging me. There. I hope he can't reach me up here. There is no tree. What do you do if he charges? Are you supposed to just stand there and wait and then dive to the side or something? No, you get in behind the tree. We'll, we'll, where it's going now, there will be quite a few big trees. Not, not really climbing trees, but... Just bushes? Yeah, you know, to get behind. I don't see a bush <laughs> in this entire country that's going to stop him if he wants to go through. I'll just try a couple from here. lucky not bad I'll take that group so how far am I gonna have to shoot this rhino about 30 yards 30 yeah well this about this, 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 this yeah. oops better get that one on camera that's about the uh, angle it's coming in at too <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> down. you can see how much it drops yeah. and you got to remember that the arrow doesn't have to hit him very hard just to hit him. Just to yeah, hit it's him. just the momentum of that arrow will penetrate his skin. I hope that was on camera. Better been on camera. Because <laughs> 40 is a good distance to be from a black rhino. Yeah, give you a head start when you have to run. Just use a regular arrow. A regular arrow. Take the field tip off. That's the first little piece. That's the first little piece that goes on there. This dart was specially manufactured so that it could screw onto an arrow. What is that? This is a charge we use, yeah? A charge? Yeah. So it's like an actual cartridge sort? Yeah, like a cartridge. And the impact that it explodes. So the impact causes it, it's like a like mercury fulminate or something. Yeah. Just poof. yeah. And shoots and the, the plastic thing forward, which pushes all the all, all juice. the drag out, yeah, all the okay. juice out the front of the needle. How much milligrams? Four. Four of what's the drug? M99. Atrophin. One gram of this is equivalent to ten thousand grams of morphine. Holy smokes! Ten thousand. Hugely potent stuff. That's how I like to go. And that's the same thing we practiced on? Yeah, exactly the same thing, same way. Everything exactly the same. So no excuses, Jim. That's pretty windy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look for black wagon.
the other side. He came up for just one second and then was that was it. He was took off running. The wind shifted, it's right at her back now, right down to him. We're gonna go around the top and see if we can kind of angle down on that slush. From the back side of it? Yeah. Some black wildebeest, uh, white blaseback and springback. Get ready, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just right. Hang on a second. Get ready, draw. 30 yards, 30 yards, take him. I just winged it, he was walking. Yeah, he's coming straight at us. draw it. Oh, I smoke. That worked? It got him a bit back, but still got him a good muscle. You know, he was walking. Yeah, yeah. I know I got away from the muscle. This guy will follow him. It'll probably take about 10 minutes or so, 8 to 10 minutes for him to go down. There's two other vehicles involved. The other truck is up on the hill up here, and it actually was watching the rhino that I darted. It didn't stop for nearly, well, probably four miles now. It hasn't stopped at all, so they think the dart, the, the juice didn't go in, so it didn't put him to sleep. Is that yeah, it? yeah, he's still moving. He's gone a couple of miles now, but hopefully he'll go stop somewhere now and we'll, you know, Get, get visual of him again and decide what's going on. I don't think that dot's um, gone off. Okay, so, as long as the shot was okay. Yeah, yeah was no, your shot was 100%. I don't think he's got all of the medicine and you're going to have to give him another dot. Okay. But he got some of it, you think? It looks like it, yeah. He's still pretty strong. He's covered about seven or eight miles. They don't think the dart took full effect, so we got him down here, but what we have to now just wait and, and then try and go in and sneak in and get another dart into him because it maybe just got in the skin or something, which makes it take up slowly. Yeah, Oh, that, that was exciting. Holy smokes. What's he doing? He's not going to go very far. Let's just get closer to him, Jimmy. Shot the rhino. Now we're in the truck. We ran back to the truck because you got to get you got to get over to him quickly to do the all the blood tests and whatnot. Holy smokes. A black rhino. Black rhino. Good. One, two, three. Thank goodness. That's uh, I mean, it's, you can only catch and release if, if they release and they're fine. And that, that rhino is perfect. We've done it. all the scientific studies. We put the microchips in them in both of his horns, so no more poaching problems. And we've taken blood samples, all kinds of other little studies they're doing on these animals for conservation. And he's spray painted disinfectant on the animal because when it was running, it got a little scratched up on his face. Okay, now he's putting the antidote in it. So this black rhino is going to get up and whoosh, gone. That's fun, but it's also scary as heck. Eh? These are black rhinos, really dangerous. Now he's back up and okay. 
Sirius are running away. 